Hello there, grade 4 learners. I'm your teacher, Ivy. I'm here to help me solve math in fun and easy way. Only here in Math Legends TV. For today's episode, we will identify the factors of a given number up to 100. Yes, you heard it right. Identify the factors of a given number up to 100. Now, I want you to meet Anna. It's Anna's birthday. She wanted to have balloons on her birthday. As she wished, her mother bought 24 balloons. When the party was over, she decided to give the balloons to her friends. Can you help me find how many ways I can give the balloons to my friends equally? Alright, let us now help Anna. Are you ready? Great! If there were 24 balloons that Anna wanted to give to her friends equally, then in how many ways she can give them? Keep that answers in mind because we are going to get back to it later. To find how many ways Anna can give the 24 balloons to her friends equally, what do you think are we going to do? You're right. We will divide them equally. 24 divided by 12 equals 2. So, 12 times 2 equals 24. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Thus, 8 times 3 equals 24. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Therefore, 6 times 4 equals 24. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Hence, 4 times 6 equals 24. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So, 3 times 8 equals 24. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Then, 2 times 12 equals 24. 24 divided by 1 equals 24. Therefore, 1 times 24 equals 24. 24 divided by 24 equals 1. Then, 24 times 1 equals 24. Now, in how many ways can Anna give the balloons to her friends equally? Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. There are 8 ways. What are the numbers that can divide 24 with no remainder? Very good! The numbers that can divide 24 with no remainder are... These are the factors of 24. But wait! We're not done yet. When her mother knew that she gave the balloons to her friends, the mother also wanted to share 20 chocolates to Anna's friends. In how many ways can she share the chocolates? All right, help me find how many ways I can share the chocolates to Anna's friends. To find how many ways Anna's mother can share the chocolates equally, we are going to... Great! Divide them equally. 20 divided by 10 is 2. So, 10 times 2 equals 20. 20 divided by 5 
is 4. Then, 5 times 4 equals 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Thus, 4 times 5 equals 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Therefore, 2 times 10 equals 20. 20 divided by 1 is 20. So, 1 times 20 equals 20. 20 divided by 20 is 1. So, 20 times 1 equals 20. Well, in how many ways mother shared the chocolates to Anna's friends? You're right. There are six ways. What are the numbers that can divide 20 with no remainder? Very good! The numbers that can divide 20 with no remainders are... These are the factors of 20. So what are factors? Excellent! Factors are the numbers that can divide the given number equally with no remainder. Now, your turn. What are the factors of 35? Very good! The factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7, and 35. Why are these numbers called factors? Impressive! They are called factors because they are the numbers that can divide 35 with no remainder. When you divide 35 by 7, the answer is exactly 5. When you divide 35 by 5, the answer is exactly 7. When you divide 35 by 35, the answer is exactly 1. And when you divide 35 by 1, the answer is exactly 35. How about the factors of 63? Fantastic! The factors of 63 are 1, 3, 7, 9, 21, and 63. Just stay right there. Hold your paper and pen. We will have more Mathemazing practice exercises on identifying factors of a given number up to 100 on your learner's home test. I'll give you one minute to answer each item. Number one, which group of numbers are factors of 54? Letter A, 1, 2, 5, 7, and 12. Letter B, 1, 2, 6, 9, and 27. Letter C. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 26. Letter D. 7, 8, 9, 2, and 1. Timer starts now.
So what's your answer then? Great! We have the same answer. Letter B. One, two, six, nine, and twenty-seven. Number two. Which set of numbers are factors of eighty-four? Letter A. One, two, five, and eight. Letter B. One, four, nine, and ten. Letter C. Five, two, four, and twelve. And letter D. One, two, four, and twelve. Timer starts now. So what's your answer? Very good. Letter D. One, two, four, and twelve. You're on the right track. So answer the rest of the items on your learner's home task. Have fun and keep learning math amazing activities. Till the next episode here in Math Legends TV.